Engineering Summer Academy is our program geared towards rising 10th, 11th, and 12th grade students. The goal of the Engineering Summer Academy, or what we call ESA, is to spark interest uh, into those students for a particular engineering field. The Computer Science Computer Engineering program, we started out by exposing them to basic principles that a programmer or a computer scientist, as well as a computer engineer, would need. So we taught them an introduction to programs. We had students walk through the very basic fundamental program, which is known as Hello World, which basically every programming language has a Hello World type program. And then from there we moved into more complicated things where you have user-based inputs and outputs, conditional statements, loops, things of that nature. I love the programming, the C++ learning, because I liked putting in just what looks like gibberish and actually getting like an outcome to come out and program a vending machine and just different things like that. I thought it was really cool. I really enjoy seeing their creativity come out and see them understand and you know, see that light bulb go off in their head and actually start learning the material and being able to do stuff with it. The best part about this camp is that it really covers the fundamentals of both computer science and computer engineering. I think a lot of students who come into engineering and are, know that they're interested in computers a lot of times aren't sure whether or not they're going to find more interest in the hardware side or the software side. So we jumped into digital logic and we taught the simple hardware components and like AND gates, OR gates and that type of thing using different means. Then we exposed them to Arduinos. We identified about five projects that the students could do and then let them go do it. So they got the programming, they got the hardware, then they learned about Arduinos, and then we let them loose to make these projects. Just combining the, the mechanical part with the programming part and just seeing how they all come together to make a final project was a lot of fun. The three most popular projects was the Secret Knock, which was basically using this board connected with the locking mechanism of the door that instead of using a key to unlock, you would actually program it to make what knocking sequence you would want it to recognize to make the door unlocked. Another project was an LED clock. You have to set up all the numbers and when you set up the numbers it has to be situated in a way that the LEDs can basically produce any number you need at that area. And so not only that, you have to have a time mechanism that keeps track of, you know, basically, if you're into music, like a rhythm. The third other project was a car. And basically, it was taking an Arduino and some other hardware components you could, again, buy at a local hardware store, just for more like a remote-controlled car. This past year, there was, a, there was a group of students who they were working on one of the projects that we gave to them, and in the project... Um, it failed miserably. You know, after the project was over and we were nearing the end of the camp, I asked that particular group what their favorite part of the camp was, and they said that it was the, that project that they worked on. And even though it didn't work, um, that's, that's classic engineering. Like, it's never going to work the first time. And the different, the steps and the methodology that they took towards trying to solve those problems, I think they enjoyed more than had they actually even finished the project. We exposed them to how computer scientists and computer engineers, um, we exposed them what they would do in industry. And we did that through a couple of visits. One of the first visits was to the Walmart Innovation Lab. And at this lab, the students got exposed to how Walmart are using lighting technology to improve their processes. One of the cool things that the students got to see was Walmart's take on Google Glass. Uh, we had the supercomputer people, the people who run the supercomputers at the University of Arkansas come and talk to them and give a tour of the data center on campus. They had mentors there and the mentors were all really nice and they could all offer their unique perspective on um, their experience at the U of A and really help you get to know what college is going to be like. I really enjoy seeing kids get excited about computer science and computer engineering. Um, those two fields alone are make up the, the vast increase in, in jobs within the engineering market. If you don't go into engineering, you can still find a way to be a part of it and enjoy what other major you would want to go into, but somehow engineering will always find you. 
The goal of the computer science, computer engineering section of the Engineering and Summer Academy is to help students explore is a technology or is computer science, computer engineering really for me? And of course we did that through learning about software and hardware principles, looking at industry, as well as getting an actual hands-on project.